What do you think of Beyonce? Uh, you know what? I got nothing but love for Beyonce. And as I tell people all the time, I'm a grown woman. I have absolutely no beef with her on any level. When I look at her career, I aspire to it. I'm like, you go, girl. Is you she do a role your model? Thing. Do you see her as a role model for our children? Uh, that's different. Well, that's, that's the different. question. Well, you know, it's interesting that you say that because I was asked about that in reference to prom. And I had to make it clear to some young women that what Beyonce wear, wears, those are her work clothes. That is not proper prom attire. What she's <laughs> wearing in her videos is for videos, and it is not for your prom. And they didn't understand it. And I said, well, look at the video. Is that the way you want to be seen going to the prom? And, and that's my question because so many people point to Beyonce and Rihanna and they say they're these cash machines and they're cottage industries. But I just think... They're that, far from cottage industries. Well, uh, well, no, 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 maybe that's not the right word. They, they generate a lot of more money yes, than anyone do. ever has due to the magic ever of has. downloading and ringtones and that's all that. Right. So that's Social why I call media. it a cottage industry because you have ringtones, you have movies, you have videos, you have clothing, you have all the different things. And Rihanna's just a baby Beyonce. You know, there would be Beyonce, and then right behind and her would be And then there's Rihanna, Rihanna, and there's Nicki Minaj. Then and right after, the Rihanna promote. would be Nicki Minaj. But they Minaj. don't promote their talent. You made it on your talent. While you're beautiful, you had a body of work. You're a classically trained actress. You're talented, and you can sing, and you can dance. To me... They can, too. They can, but what I see when I see Rihanna, I see her naked. I see her nipples exposed. When I see Nicki Minaj, I see the album, her CD cover, and what she's promoting is a thong string down the middle of her buttocks, and her entire buttocks is exposed. That has been nothing... That's nothing new, because if you open up your Bible, doggone it, this <laughs> King David was looking where he shouldn't have looked, and he was like, bring that one up here. He was watching the girls But we had people bathing. to redirect hey. our children. Too many of our girls see to emulate that. You're not troubled at well, that the way that the, we're so okay, art today. Okay, now what you're talking about is the image of black women, period. That's what I'm it talking about. It has always there been the hot and tot. It was always like, drop it like it's hot. It has been so long sapphire, and we have brought it bought into that whole thing, more so with this whole reality thing, and the thing about it is, is we have been sold a fake bill of goods, and it is not real, and I feel so sorry when our young girls are walking out there and they are looking like the hoe and they don't know it. What about the tattoo thing? Because even the Bible says that there should be no tattoos. Well, that's another thing. The Bible, that's, then. that's another thing that's been around a very long time. People and how they want to um, mark their bodies or scar their bodies. I don't agree with it, but that's me. Every generation has something that they deal with. I cut all my hair off and I got an afro. My mother thought I was crazy. My father was like, why would you want to do that? And I was want, that was like, he got his own afro. Until he got his own afro.